Oh, wow. It's nine already. Yeah, so. Okay, uh, those who are online, uh, if you are not in class, please also sign in uh, on Socrative. Uh, uh, <coughs> okay. All right, so, uh, so today I'm actually going to do some uh, interactive uh, exercise with you. Instead, I, I'm uh, going over a lecture, uh, but I'm, so oops, uh, I will go over the actual exercises. Uh, so. Uh, those who are online, if you cannot see my screen, you should uh, uh, send some messages to chat or raise your hands. So. Okay, so uh, uh, the edX seem to still stay at the uh, Python basics. Uh, what I'm going to do today is actually let you go, uh, go over the problem one, two, three in class. And then after class, uh, you should go over it on screen recording app. Oh, down. So, okay. Uh, problem one. Uh, assuming S is a string of low case characters, write program that can count up the number of vowels in the string. Uh, they say vowel A, E, I, O, U. So, so and um, if in this testing strand, your output should be five. And so I'll give you five minutes to think about and start something. It's, it's an open book. You can actually discuss with your friends next to you. Uh, or if you have some uh, other friends, <laughs> uh, it's open book. And you can Google for it too. Uh, in fact, uh, is add a tutorial video, but if you do that, you should put your headphone on. <laughs> so, yeah. uh. Well, first string in uh, Python can be treated as a list. So we can use a for loop. And that's a hint, uh, so in a way. So. That's why you don't have to use a for loop, but it uh, seems to be a straightforward uh, for loop. Uh, okay. I forgot to bring my tea, so I'm going to walk by my office. I came back, that's about five minutes. I used to work. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, okay, I'll be back in. Okay. You actually can use the interactive on this uh, on the edX website. So 
You can also use a Jupyter node. Uh, for your submission, I require you to use Jupyter node with your code and running result. Uh, <coughs> sorry. So if we go to the edX course, So the nice thing about that is it actually give you an interactive uh, uh, in instant of feedback when, when you use this. So I say, how about my code? I will say, uh, oops. Uh, I say go that, and then I say, I have no idea. Okay, and then I say submit, let's see what happens here. Uh, incorrect, oh, it just said incorrect, it didn't give me anything. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Thing like that. It's just, uh, well, if I say, uh, kind of fine, will that cheat a little bit? Because the, the answer should be five, I would call. No, uh, it's not fooled by this simple <laughs> way to cheat. It. <clears throat> so, anyone want to offer a solution? Can you use a phone to remember every message and see whether that message is wrong? Let me see. Can I cheat this this way? Uh. Uh, it's clever. It doesn't. I just print out the answer. It say I, I don't have anything to change. So it's reasonably clever. <laughs> so, yeah. uh. so this feature will only be uh, available before the deadline of this assignment. If you pass a deadline, this interactive feature will be disabled. So, uh, okay, uh, I need the volunteer of someone who how do you how do you write the problem? Uh, I 
I'm trying to do it in a different way. If you finish in the second way, try to do it in the third way. <laughs> okay. It's probably a very funny thing. I see many of you uh, uh, use, say, ball, a letter in the screen. I use a letter, a double go, wow, ball, da 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 if you say you multiple all multiple state and then you increment on a top. Good, that would be a, a straightforward way to solve it. But then you don't have too much in else. And all, <laughs> can you from a spell of it? But what if people say from all the like, non ball and then you need to write how many all? 21 different all, right? That's going to be a bit awkward. Right? <laughs> it's just, so, what a better way to do it? 
So, well, I can see, I see a lot of it. There's one solution to it. Or, 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 or that one solution. And then I also see uh, if something else is else is else is That's another way to write it. And then I also see people say, uh, oh, wow, people are less probably. And then you just do a problem to go over the wow. So then you see a lot of people And then this chat comes up with, without writing anything on that. Okay, guys? Yes. If you just type like this, if that letter is a scene or screen, I might be trying to find this way away. <laughs> it isn't, uh, I didn't know Python had this feature. <laughs> it's actually very cool. So, so what? Uh, let me test uh, this chat uh, solution. So, so this is a solution I see. Well, uh, chat it. So, if for uh, L in string. If L, oh, that's L is really not easy to read. If E in S, oh no, A E O uh, I, uh, is that fine? Okay. And then count. And let's see whether this works. Uh, submit. Incorrect. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to using my uh, Jupyter notebook to see whether this uh, works or not. Well, this is uh, uh, many of uh, the solution you have. So let me. Uh, okay, I think on that, kind of on that. Okay, it looks like I mistyped something. Oh, I know. I missed the indentation here. Okay. Is that it? No, it should be okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I add an indentation, would that be correct? Still. 
still say incorrect. Uh, uh, but my, uh, anyone know why? Hold on, let me see what. Uh, what, is there a, say it again? No, let's go back to the next page. Uh huh. And the. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. See full output. Expected a six. Oh, really? Oh, hold on. It should be six on them. Wait a minute, why am I getting? Why am I getting five here? Okay, did I use a wrong stream? Let me copy that. Oh, for some reason I use the wrong input. Oh, I see. So I should remove that as, okay, I see. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, finally it's correct. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay, I see. Okay, uh, I see. So they actually provided. I guess I didn't read. Uh, assuming that, 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 that for example, I see. But the, the actual testing provided different S. I see. That's the problem. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, the machine isn't very smart here. <laughs> you have to use a fixed S. So, uh, let's. Uh, this is a, a very interesting way to do it. Uh, I'm really glad. Uh, every time uh, I will learn something so new. <laughs> so this is uh, apparently a very good solution. Uh, quite quite simple solution. And this is a, a solution I often see. Uh, and there's another solution, and we use a list. Actually, this is not a list. This is a dictionary. So, uh, okay. So I'm going to. Uh, this is actually one of your one of you trying to work. So, I'm going to say. Uh, so this, in 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 this example, actually, I use a dictionary to implement this. So I I create an empty. Uh, dictionary A E I O U. Each one has a zero count. This is a, a Python dictionary, and and then I uh, for every letter in the string, if that letter is in the keys of my dictionary with A E I O U, uh, and then I increment <coughs> that letter by one. And then this is the printout. So there are two A's, one E, zero I, two O, and zero U. And but how do I print out? The, the question asks for what? Uh, total number. So I need to sum up every, all the values of the dictionary. And then I just, uh, every, uh, the dictionary is the object. It had the method called values. So I call that a value and then convert it into a list. And the list can be input into a function called sum, and then I, that's the output. So I guess for the question, we can also say print uh, num number, oops, sorry. Oh, way o e w out. Uh, and then, uh, that. 
Oops, uh, I must mistype something there. Unexpected the EOF was passing. Why is that? Uh, Well, the easiest way to do that is put it in the multiple lines because there are too many princesses. Uh, uh, X for that. Still not. Uh, I must use the printer. Uh, how do I use? Uh, oh, that's done. I haven't run the code yet. That's the problem. Okay, <laughs> I, I forgot to run the code because it actually saved the file. Okay, now it's correct, yeah. So number will be fine. So the, 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 the uh, annoying issue of a Jupyter node because it saved the previous result, some, sometimes I forgot to run the block and then it actually, not actually in the environment yet. So, okay, that's the, so this is question number one. Um, so basically, if if you know how to do it, I'll and then try to figure out a different way to do it. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm sure there are probably a dozens, many other different ways to do it. <laughs> so, uh, okay, that's for question number one. Uh, question number uh, coding problem number two. Let's work on that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this time uh, S is a string of lowercase characters and write a, pro write a program to print uh, uh, the number of times the word Bob occur in that string. Uh, this is 10, 13, I'll give you another uh, two or three minutes to start with. So. Okay, what, uh, I need to uh, uh, disconnect my screen to, to look at something and then come back.
Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Some of you using a tool to do the conversion and then see uh, how many uh, three letter string I can run. Using loop generation of that. Oh, 
So some of you are asking me uh, what you need to submit about the canvas uh, for our assignment. So let's see. Uh, yeah, so, oh, the unit one is due 29, that tomorrow? Yeah, and then unit two is due February 3rd. So, and then you can take, well, if you take screenshot of both, you can just use that screenshot of both assignment. Some of you already finished both, so you don't have to take multiple screenshots. <laughs> right, so you take one screenshot with a name ID, and then just submit to both, and you, if you already finished two, so. Uh, yeah, and then I can, uh, okay. I haven't released a three and four yet. Uh, not be in the future, so. Right now, uh, I can just release now because the supposedly edX public course will release the Thursday. So, yeah. So, uh, and then there will be coding assignment, the problem one, two, and three, uh, which we are working now. So, and for that, uh, I actually copy paste the material already here. But if you use edX, uh, it's actually uh, also there. But to submit uh, one and two, I even gave you some hint here. So there's a due date May 5th. So only use the due date I have. Don't use the edX due date. Uh, uh, and then uh, if you finish the first one, 45, uh, finish the second one, 45. And if you had a video, which is the hyperlink, and each assignment has its own URL hyperlink, and then it's also perfect score. But if, you, uh, if, the, uh, if your link is not hyperlink, you take uh, some point off. If you submit just a one video link without two link, I take some uh, point off. Um, and then if there's no video, or uh, the video actually doesn't even show you are doing the work, and then I basically give you zero point. You can redo it. Uh, as long as you show the effort, uh, I'm, I'm happy to regrade re your score or ask the TA to regrade it. Yeah, so. But you need to show the effort. Yeah, so. um, that's for the assignment. Any other question about submission assignment? We are all clear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, all right. So let's uh, go over problem number two. Uh, and, and this is probably the standard uh, solution based on the tutorial. Um, we have the string, the number of a bulk count is zero, um, but I, just to make it more interesting, I also add something called a debug flag. Uh, flag, sorry. This is just my own flavor. Uh, <clears throat> so for i in a string, if debug is one, uh, there is false, everything else is true. That's a statement from the C program. <laughs> I still follow that solution. So if I want to show debugging uh, detail, I turn that flag into positive one. And then inside say, if, it's, if I want to show debug, I need to print out the substring I'm looking at and then see whether it's working or not. Uh, Trevor, you may need a glass the way you look. <laughs> look at those, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, so there, that's the debug information. So if I turn the debug on, you see how many, uh, I basically go over AZC, ZCB, CBO, basically all the three letter uh, words inside of that. But if there's a BOB, uh, let's say there's a BOB, I count one, there's another BOB somewhere probably. Uh, where is that one? Oh yeah, there are two BOB, count two. So, but if I don't want to, uh, if I want to submit to a customer, a customer probably don't want to see all this garbage I print out. So I just turn it off. There, just the customer probably just want to know two, that's enough, <laughs> right. So it's a very easy way to, uh, to tune. If I have a problem, I want to debug problem, I turn the, the debugging mode on. If it's not, I turn it off and uh, let's see if nothing happens. <laughs> so it's just a very convenient way. Uh, 
there may be other ways to do it, but this is just my own habit of uh, my own way of doing. It. So, so if you if you friends or if you Google find out a much better way to do this, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so, uh, often just stay. This is what I learned when I was a student. I still use it. <laughs> so, so this is one way to implement it. And some of you uh, already Google, I see, look for the string. <laughs> so what Python string is the object. The object has its own functions. So the string is the object, and the count is one of its function. You can just count Bob, and then the result is up. <laughs> so that's the very simple way to do it. <laughs> so that's another way to do it. Wait, but this only one? Well. The problem of this is the it doesn't count the overlapping one. So if I say B O B O B, it depends on your definition of Bob. <laughs> it could be one or two, uh, but if I put the two separate Bob, then it counts as two. So you, then you have to follow the string function. That's what the string offer. Apparently, string doesn't count the overlapping word. So if I say Bob. Uh, OB, BOB, I mean, you can count the two, you can count the one, and, but in this case, apparently, by definition, Python, oops, I should remove the middle one. Python only count one. The overlapping letter, it doesn't count. So, of course, if you write the own code, it actually count as a two. In our case, we count as a two. Right? So, obviously, there's a difference, depend on the input. So. Of course, if you are a software developer, your customer has different experiences, then there will be the problem <laughs> down the road. <laughs> right. So, yeah, anyhow. <clears throat> okay, and then I also give you something else, which is the something called regular expression, uh, i.e., this is basically a regular expression uh, module. Uh, Okay, so we can import that uh, module and then just uh, use something, a regular expression, find out that the pattern of bar and print out a bar. So in this case, or in this case, uh, whoops, I didn't import it, I guess. Okay, how many bar do I have? One. Oh, I have, probably have too many. Let me remove some. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't even count myself. Yeah. Okay, two. Is that two? That's okay, two. But the, apparently, regular expression also doesn't count the multiple one. But if I really count this, it actually only counts that only one is. So, so it depends on, uh, I could also, but, a good thing about regular expression, I could count this. Aha, uh, uh -huh, that's not what I want. Uh, zero. Hmm. Uh, no. Uh, okay. I shouldn't go off the script, but I don't remember my <laughs> syntax exactly. Okay, so uh, okay, I, I I will stop. Just follow my script. <laughs> you think that so, uh, regular expression is almost like a, has its own syntax to define the pattern, yeah. and the, very often uh, when I use it, I need to go go back to its the definition and uh, figure out the exact syntax. Actually. So this is the question number two, and then okay, we still have some time. Let's work on question number three. So, and this one is a harder, much harder problem. So, and we, uh, in a way, we at least get this started. Um, so, so again, S is a, a string of lowercase characters, and write a program that print the longest substring 
in which the letter occur in alphabetical order. That also depends on how your interpretation, what is the alphabetical order. <laughs> and once you start to do testing, you realize uh, very often you, you think something is simple, but once you start to do the testing. <laughs> so, well, let's just say uh, if I, alphabetical order. So if that string is there uh, and your output should be B-E-G-G-H, well, then is GG in alphabetical order? <laughs> According to the index definition, it is, it is in alphabetical order. GG, if strictly speaking, that's actually not in alphabetical order. <laughs> so, because there are two Gs. Uh, so, well, by ABC, that's a clear, that clearly is an alphabetical order. So, uh, okay, but you should write a program to follow the index definition of alphabetic order. So if there are uh, double uh, letters, we count out the, the alphabetic order. So, so this is a bit harder problem. So. Oh, I see. So if you look down, you see a lot of people have a discussion of this. That's actually very useful. Okay. So, so if, if uh,
ข้ามางานอ oh, some people say uh, a few hours. Uh, some people say it's very difficult. Some people say this is a very interesting problem. I guess. Oh, I guess you are not. Uh, you uh, people are forbidden to put their solution there. Just comment on the question. So. Yeah. So Hmm. Uh, I will let you just go down. And so, let's see if I uh, Google with edX six zero one X. MIT six zero one X. Uh, I'm just some string. Wow, there are sixty, seventy thousand uh, results. <laughs> so this obviously the. I mean, each year there are uh, several hundred thousand people taking the course, and. Obviously, there's a lot of resource there. So, yeah. so I'm randomly picking one from 2015. Uh, well, that's someone uh, had an input there. So input a string. Uh, oh, this one actually doing something. Uh, uh, import, uh, import count directly. This actually seems to be a bit over complicated, but uh, wait a minute. How did this side, uh, this seem to be a Chinese side on this. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, yeah, this is a, a stack uh, exchange. So it's obviously they are, uh, they probably, there are thousands of different ways to solve this problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It looks like uh, a lot of people coming up with their own ways to solve this problem. So that's what the, the actual programming work should be looking at. Uh, the way I got it uh, is this way. So. Longer the string, longer the substring. Again, I put the debug uh, back there. And but this time I'm going to put a one just to show the debug. So <clears throat> going over everything in that string. And then, but how do I find out the longer string? I basically go for the current position, go over the remaining position. If that is alphabetic order, it's correct. If it's not, then we just move from the longest position, shorten it bit by bit. So that's the logical bit uh, behind that. So the supposition, uh, okay. And then alphabetic order, apparently we can use the less or equal than for the addict, if you if I argue strictly alphabetical, I, I can remove that equals and use absolute less than. But addict actually consider the same as the, the correct, so I put the equal there. So, and then uh, if there are debugger, we print it out. If it's not, uh, we compare the string. Okay, let's see how this. If I turn the debug on. Wow, that's really a lot. Uh, so we start from the A, Z, it's not there. Uh, not in alphabetic order. 
uh, when does it, okay. B E, okay, B E, uh, or A Z is in alphabetic order. B E in alphabetic, B E G, B G G, B E G G H. Well, I found this one here. So that's the B G G, uh, five, one, two, three, five letters. And then E G G H, shorter K L. So the longest one is B E G G H. So yeah, that's the, my debugging information. So, yeah. uh, Uh, now this one also a, a bit of challenge because I try to regular use a regular expression to find a solution. Apparently, I still haven't come up with a solution. I can match this, <laughs> so I haven't uh, I haven't found a general solution using regular expression pattern to match this. Uh, uh, if some of you figure it out. Uh, I'll, I will give you bonus point <laughs> to do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, uh, using regular expression, I can only find the first match. I, somehow I couldn't get the, the longest one, even though, uh, unless I really specify, but then that's kind of cheating. I already know the pattern. So if I, I, I couldn't write a general way to, to find it. So uh, let me see. Do uh, do I have a hint for? I don't have a hint for problem number three, but well, you can look at the video after <laughs> this class. This will be. I guess I can put a screenshot there. So. Uh, let me see. I can put a screenshot there. Uh, oh, that's actually partially. Okay, so I can put a, a hint at the screenshot if you really need it. Hint. Okay. Uh. Oh, I need to upload that a new file. Uh. Hint for coding problem two. Okay, so now it is also a hint uh, for problem three as well. So, and that said, make sure you need to submit a screen from the start to the end showing running and debugging a uh, testing result. That's the requirement to get the job done. So if basically to get the, even get your credit for it. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, okay, so, oh, do you have trouble with the GitHub exercise and uh, submission? It seems to be everybody, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I, uh, Uh, so, um, hopefully the next week, uh, uh, content will be open soon, then you can finish, uh, we can start move on to the second week and the second week will be, 
the unit three uh, simple algorithm and unit four uh, Python function. And uh, well, if not, uh, I will let you go. Uh,